So one year ago, our family got this heat pump installed at our home. We have now cooled with it and heated with it for an entire year. But I'll bet you're pretty curious to know how much this heat pump cost us in electricity and how much it saved us in natural gas. That's what I'm going to tell you today on Green Neighbor. Well, all right. If you are familiar with the Green Neighbor YouTube channel, you know that we power everything in our home with electricity, including our heat pump to heat the place, our water heater to heat our water, all of our yard equipment is battery electric, and our stove is an induction stove. And on top of all that, our two cars are battery electric vehicles. So I would not blame anybody for being a little bit curious about what our electricity bills look like on a monthly basis. So let's take a look at our electricity bill. Now, before we get into analyzing any bills such as hydro or gas, the first thing we need to do is come to understand that for any given bill, the month that is shown is actually the previous month. So whenever you have a bill that says it is for February, it is actually for January. That's so unnecessarily confusing. January's bill is actually for December. So let's understand that as we take a look at these bills. So let's take a look at our hydro bills for the two coldest months of the year, December and January. We'll start out looking at December. Now, as you can see, we spent $349.58 on hydro this past December, and that is $143.55 more than we spent during the same month last year. You'll have to forgive the fact that last year's bill looks different, but our power company decided to change the format of their bills about one year ago. I will remind you that even though it says January, we are looking at December's consumption here. Now, when it comes to the energy that we consumed, you can see that we burned 2,600 kilowatt hours this December compared to 1,647 kilowatt hours last December before we had our heat pump. That is a 58% increase in energy consumption. Yikes. That's not insignificant, but let's take a look at what happened to our gas bill over the same period of time. Okay, so here is my Enbridge gas bill for this past December. Just like with the hydro bill, these bills are one month off. So January's bill is actually December's consumption. Now, if we compare this December with last December, we can see that we used 34 cubic meters of gas this year as compared to 211 cubic meters last December. That is an 84% decrease in gas consumption. Not bad. Not bad. As for the difference in cost, well, that's really hard to tell. If you've ever tried to read and understand your gas bill, you probably found that it was a very difficult task. This is really hard. That is basically because the gas company estimates every second month and then provides an actual meter reading every second month and then adjusts for the previous estimated month. The bottom line is, I can't actually give you an accurate indication of the money that we spent on natural gas for any given month because Enbridge Gas doesn't actually provide such a number. They don't make it easy, do they? So what I'm going to do is just show you the money that we spent over the entire year. I'll compare all the money we spent this winter, $433, with all the money we spent last winter. $1,200. And I will also remind you that our furnace is the only thing that consumes natural gas in our home. So any gas that we consumed was consumed in the effort to heat our home, either as our primary source of heat last year or our auxiliary heat source this year. So that is a difference of $771.82 in our favor. So the big question in anyone's mind should be, 
Is $771 more or less than the additional money that we spent on hydro over the course of the year? That's what I'd like to know. Now, I promised you that I would show you my bills for January, which is the coldest month of the year. So let's take a look at January's hydro bill. So here is January's hydro bill. I will remind you it will say it is for February, but it is for January's consumption. Now you can see it is for $411.24, and that is a lot more than we paid in January of last year before we had our heat pump. In fact, you can see it is more than double what we paid last January. It's a lot. Yes, it is a lot. You can see that in terms of kilowatt hours consumed, we used 3,023 kilowatt hours this past January, as compared to 1,570 kilowatt hours the previous January, before we had our heat pump. So that is a 92.5% increase in electricity consumed over the course of the month. Now we all have a cranky uncle who will tell you that if you get a heat pump, your electricity bills will double. And like a lot of the fear, uncertainty and doubt that you hear about taking climate action, it is based on a grain of truth. But we found that our hydro bill only doubled for the one month, the coldest month of the year, January. Now, if we take a step back and take a look at the entire year, we see that we saved so much in heating gas that we actually saved money by running a heat pump over the course of the entire year. Congratulations. In fact, the cost of running our heat pump for our first year can be summed up in this single screen right here. You can see on the left side, our hydro usage did go up to $1,791.27 for the year. That is a 25.7% increase in hydro consumption, and that led to a 35.4% increase in cost, which gives us $468.18 extra that we spent over the course of the year on hydro. Now turning to natural gas, you will recall that we only spent $433.77 over the course of the year. That is an 84.2% decrease in gas consumption. You might recall that we spent just over $1,200 on natural gas over the previous year. But our 84% decrease in gas consumption only led to a 64% decrease in gas cost and I'm going to show you why that is in a moment. Overall, however, our expenditures on natural gas decreased by a total of $771.82 over the first year that we ran our heat pump. Yeah, you said that already. Now, I mentioned before that our costs did not go down as much as our consumption went down, and here's why. Every month, we pay a flat customer fee of $22.88 to our gas company. Wow, 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 wow. So it turns out that most of the $433 that we paid to Enbridge Gas this year, $310.25, was the customer fee. We only spent $123.52 on gas. Well, well, that's insane. So there you have it. After one year of heating and cooling with a heat pump, our family is ahead financially. We'll see what happens next year. Hey, if you liked this video, then click that like button, leave me a comment, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss anything going forward.